to be um, the most important guinea pig foods. So the guinea pig foods I'm talking about range from things like hay and pellets to veggies. I'm going to be talking about three main ones that I feel like are really important, but there are plenty others and you can ask your vet and other food guide kind of people who specialize in guinea pig food guides to understand what the nutritional values of each individual thing. I know for me personally, my vet, if we have a question, then we are more than welcome, they always say, to call into the vet office and ask that question. So, yeah. So number one is hay. Hay is super important for a number of reasons. Hay makes up 80% of a guinea pig's diet, and also guinea pig's teeth, unlike ours, grow constantly, kind of like our fingernails. They grow and they grow and they grow, and we have to cut or file them down. Same thing with guinea pigs. Their teeth are growing, 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 and getting really long. The uh, hay helps to file their teeth down, as well as things like the wood chews and even the wooden hut or log I have in my guinea pig's cage. Those are really good for helping file their teeth down because they can just chew on it nonstop. Hay also provides nutritional values as well as the opportunity to file your piggy's teeth now, down. Here's a picture of my piggy's teeth. Now, I will insert it kind of over here. Now, if you guys were to look at a guinea pig whose teeth did not get filed, they would be really long. It would even be like com coming out of their mouth and over their like chin. It would be very uncomfortable and your guinea pigs would stop eating because just it, they wouldn't be able to eat. So it's very important that your guinea pigs have something to file their teeth down and also hay just makes up 80% of their diet. The next one is lettuce. So when I first brought my guinea pigs home, lettuce was the first thing I fed to them, mainly because there's not a lot of different things in there. It's pretty much water with a little bit of nutritional value that is in the form of a veggie. So that's good. It is really good, but there are certain lettuces that they're not allowed to have. Some lettuces can cause bloat. Other lettuces just have no nutritional value. Kind of like iceberg lettuce. Iceberg lettuce, if you really look at the nutritional values, it's pretty much just water pretending to be a vegetable. For the amount of iceberg lettuce you could be feeding them, you could just be giving them a bottle of water. So, yeah, like when I first brought my guinea pigs home, I gave it to them that, and another thing is if you're introducing a new vegetable to your guinea pigs, you want to be able to introduce it in a small amount. So don't like give them their full, like, guinea pigs are allowed to have one cup of veggies per day. I have two guinea pigs, so two cups of veggies would, you know, would be the maximum li limit I'd be able to feed them because that's one cup per pig. So you don't want to feed them their full cup of veggies, maybe like one or two small pieces when you're introducing that veggie to them once or twice a week. So, and then eventually their stomachs will get used to that veggie and then you can give it in the proper quantity. So things like carrots should be fed in a pretty small amount once a week. Things like tomatoes and other things like that um, are classified as snacks and should only be fed roughly around twice a week in a, like maybe a handful portion. Actually, that really just depends on how big your hands are. So, And then the third one, or not the third one, and then things like lettuce and bell peppers, you can feed them every day as you guys have probably seen. My guinea pigs get that every day, either lettuce or bell peppers with usually something like a small half of tomato or a cucumber, or sometimes it's just layers, lettuce and bell peppers. Okay, so the final thing, the final statement, the final veggie I'm going to be talking about is bell peppers. Bell peppers are great because they provide lots of vitamin C. 
Guinea pigs, as you may or may not know, are not able to produce their own vitamin C. So they need food that can produce vitamin C. So things like bell peppers and other um, vegetables that are really high in vitamin C are really good for them. Um, we used to put vitamin C drops in our water, but after talking to our vet, just to get a second opinion, we decided that, that was not the best thing to put in there, so I really don't recommend putting vitamin C drops in your water. But definitely doing things like feeding them bell peppers. I usually feed anywhere from a half to a full pepper to my pigs per day because that's just a good amount of vitamin C and it will keep them healthy. I've also seen that some people will feed vitamin C just like from a tube, like in a syringe into their mouths. Um, that's another good way, but I recommend talking to your vet about what's the best way to get vitamin C to your guinea pigs. So these were all, so those were three main things. Another thing is pellets. Um, some people don't feed their guinea pigs pellets, but that's another thing that you want to talk to your vet about. Um, if you look at pellets, it's pretty much condensed hay with other like vitamins and nutritional values. I personally feed it to my guinea pigs because that is just, that was what I was informed to do. But really it's just about talking to your vet and seeing what is the best opinion. So those are my three most important veggies and foods to be feeding to your guinea pigs. There are plenty of other ones, but those to me are the basics and kind of the most important ones. So if you're feeding them the basics, that's great. If you're feeding them the basics plus um, a small additional thing, that's great too. Just make sure that um, the additional things can be in moderation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.